Hi guys, it's me Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about solving linear inequalities in one variable. So throughout this video, we will try to solve inequalities and we will express the answers in different forms. We have the inequality, number line or graph, and interval notation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's have the first example for this topic, guys. What we have here is the is the direction solve the inequality and express your solution as an inequality graph and interval notation by the way guys last time nag upload tayo ng video about linear equations in one variable and you can you can see it here sa part na to and para magkaroon kayo ng idea what is the difference between inequality and equation pero basically is beyond na kayo ng idea pag equation meron tayong single value for a variable but in inequality, meron tayong maraming possible values or ang pinaka na dito, pinaka marami dito, is in, maging, pwede maging infinite yung ating solution. So let's start with this inequality. We have x plus 4 is greater than 3. So basically, ito medyo madali lang to. Halos two steps lang to. You can do transposition method or you can use the properties of inequality. Ako, in our case, we will use properties of inequality. Basically, since this is 4 or plus 4, to eliminate plus 4 on, on the left side, I will subtract both sides by 4. So as you can see, if I will add this to 4 or positive 4 plus negative 4, magiging 0 siya or pwede na cancel out, and it will become x is greater than 3 minus 4 or 3 plus negative 4 that is equal to negative 1. Ito na yung mismong answer natin. Pero, remember, in a given direction, we are asked to express inequality, graph, and interval notation. For the inequality, ito yung sagot natin. x is greater than negative 1. Pero, ano bang ibig sabihin itong x is greater than negative 1 natin? Sir, is the answer or the, is the value of x negative 1? No. Negative 1 is not included kasi sabi dito, x is greater than negative 1. All of those numbers na mas mataas kay negative 1. So, how are we going to express that into number line? In the number line, hanapin mo muna si negative 1. Ito si negative 1. Ngayon, dalawa yan guys. When you're using number line, it's either nagamit kayo ng open circle or solid circle. Inform pa lang din kayo, Ginagamit ang open circle or solid uh, open circle kapag ang symbols mo ito greater than o kaya itong less than. Ginagamit naman yung solid circle if your symbols greater than or equal o kaya less than or equal. Alam pinagkaya ba nila? Kapag itong symbol na itong ginamit natin guys, meaning the number or the critical value here is not included with the solution. Dito naman, kasama yung ating critical value sa solution. In this case, we will use open circle. We will put open circle dito sa ating negative 1. And sabi dito, x is greater than negative 1. Nasaan yung mga numbers na greater than negative 1? Ito, yung mga nandito numbers ito. So, ang gagawin natin, we will use a line here and draw a line. Ibig sabihin, it pertains that the solution of this inequality x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 3, not including negative 1, are those numbers greater than negative 1. And isa pang clue, yung direction nito. As you can see, going to the right siya. Okay? So we have inequality and number line. So what about the interval notation? As for the interval notation, as you can see, dito, sa part na to, it started with negative 1, pero hindi kasama si negative 1. So, we will use negative 1 kasi siya yung critical value natin. And then, papunta sa right side, those are numbers na mas malaki kay negative 1, pero going infinite to guys. Meaning, we will use infinity or positive infinity. And since infinity to, lagi tayong gagamit ng parenthesis kasi open siya. And then, another parenthesis dito because negative 1 is not included. Kasi, itong parenthesis guys, ibig sabihin, hindi kasama yung critical value sa ating solution. 
And dito naman sa infinity, always tayong gumagamit ng parenthesis. Okay? So, I hope na nakuha niyo yun, no? yung explanation ko sa number one. But we still have two more examples here. So, let's continue, guys. Okay. Sige, try natin. For number two, we have here 3x plus 2 is less than or equal to negative 2. As you can see, um, meron tayong magkakaroon dito additional na, direct, na, na, na solution. First, we need to eliminate plus 2, yung constant natin dito. So, we will subtract both sides by 2. Magiging 0 na to, we still have 3x less than or equal to 6. And after that, we will divide this by 3. Divide this by 3. Cancel, cancel. And you have your x is less than or equal to 6 divided by 3. That is equal to 2. And this is not a solution. Express inequality. At ilagay natin. X is less than or equal to 2. Next, for the number line. For the number line, you will start with the critical value. Nasaan yung 2 natin? Ito. Pero look. Less than to. Kagamit tayo ng solid circle. And look at the direction going to left. So, ang ating direction is papunta rito. Yan. So, ito na ibig sabihin yun, guys. X is less than or equal to positive 2 or 2. Sir, paano naman yung ating interval notation? As for the interval notation, pansin mo dito, ba? Yung ating Critical value na 2, instance sa right side, while dito going infinity. Meaning, infinity muna tayo dito sa right, sa left side. Ang gagamitin natin is negative infinity kasi, o oh, ba siya? Whenever na yung direction ng arrow nyo sa, sa number line is going left, you will use negative infinity in parenthesis. Next, critical value. And hindi na parenthesis guys because 2 is included. So we will use this one. So, this is now the inequality, number line, and interval notation. Okay? So, let's move on with the last example for this video. Let's start with this. We have here negative 3x plus 5 is less than or equal to negative 19. Now, let's start. We will remove plus 5 by subtracting both sides by 5. Magiging 0, we still have negative 3x is less than or equal to negative 24. What's next is we will divide this. Ang magiging divisor natin guys is negative 3 and negative 3. We can cancel this out. Cancel this out, we have x. Pero may natin special rule. Whenever you are dividing or multiplying an inequality, by negative, this sign must be reversed. If yan ay less than or equal, it will become greater than or equal. And ito naman, negative divided by negative is positive. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And this is now the answer. Again, but not natin binago yung symbol? Because we have divided the inequality by negative 3. Ganyan yung rule natin. Whenever you are multiplying or dividing by negative, reverse the symbol. So let's put it here, x is greater than or equal to 8. For the number line, let's start with the, let's start with this one. Pero wala tayong, negative, wala tayong positive 8 dito guys. So kailangan ko mag-improvise guys. Mag-improvise tayo ng ating number line. So let me draw a number line first. Sige. Kuha tayo number line. Kita ba? Yan, kita naman. Start with zero. Pero ganyan ko na siyang ano ah. Ganyan ko na siyang by four. Para mas madali tayo. This is negative four. Negative eight. Negative twelve. Negative sixteen. Nag-improvise tayo, tayo ng ating number line because... Uh, positive 8 is not here. So, dito tayo. Critical value, which is 8. As you can see, kailangan natin gawin solid circle. 
Tapos, greater than, lahat na mas mataas kay 8, mas kasama si 8, solution nito. Going to right. So, ito na yung mismong graph natin. So, what about the interval notation? As for the interval notation, guys, as you can see, nasa left side yung ating critical value and then going infinity to. So, we will use this one. Then, positive 8, comma, positive infinity, and then parenthesis. And this is now the interval notation. So, I hope, guys, nakuha niyo yun eh. Yung mismong solution natin sa mismong pag-solve ng inequality as well as the inequality number line and interval notation. So, I hope guys learned something from this video on how to solve linear equalities in one variable and expressing your answer in interval notation number line and inequality. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. So I hope guys you learned something from this video. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!